Bugby, whose real name was Ellsworth Johnson, was a feared mob boss who operated in the Harlem area. He was an associate of the Genovese crime family. He got his nickname Bumpy from a bump he had sustained on the back of his head earlier on in his life. Now why was he so powerful? Well, Bumpy, in the early Prohibition days, was an associate of Madame Saint Stephanie Clare, a female mob boss from Harlem who resisted becoming under Mafia control. At the time, she wasn't paying protection money to Dutch Schultz despite the violence and intimidation he put on her. Bumpy at the time acted as her chief enforcer. After the death of Dutch Schultz in 1935, Lucky Luciano took over all of Schultz's numbers operations in the Harlem area. But Lucky struck a deal with Bumpy that would allow to make him a hero in the eyes of many Harlem residents. The deal was to allow the bankers who had fought for their independence to remain independent as long as their taxes were paid. He was a black man who can actually make deals with the Italian Mafia, something that was unheard of until 1935. By the 1940s, Bumpy Johnson was the king of Harlem and kept a strong hold up until the time of his death. Johnson died of a heart attack at the age 62 on July 7, 1968. Such an icon was Bumpy that decades after his death, he was featured in many TV programs and films from Unsolved Mysteries right through to blockbuster films such as American Gangster and Hoodlum. Thanks for tuning in to the NationalCrimeSyndicate.com. 